Now the photo app isn't an advanced video editor, but you can use it to do some nice family and photo sharing videos. In fact, a little while ago I released a video that showed you some of the more advanced features. Now here's a link up in the upper right hand corner to that video, which you can review later. I'll also put a link in at the end of this video. Now in the last version of the studio, it had this little link up here that said music, but that's changed now. As you can see here, it now says audio. And if you click on it, you'll see you have two entries in the menu. Music is one, but now they've added in narration at the bottom. And although they have these two entries, you're going to see we're going to use a little tweak here to use the narration menu to do both multiple music and audio tracks, and even overlaying them on the same video. The first thing I'm going to do is on this existing project, I'm going to take the music I had already that they have and take it out. Okay, I'm not going to use their track. I'm going to change this to none and call it done so that uh, we can just do the narration part. You would think when you click on narration that a dialog box would allow you to record your narrations. But that's not built into here yet. It might come in the future. Right now you can just import audio files, whether they be music like these here or narrations. So how do you do it? Well, we're going to open up a Windows app that comes with Windows 10. It's a voice recorder. You can just go down here and type in voice, and it should come up. And you'll see that the voice recorder uh, starts up. If you've never used it before, it'll be blank. Okay, if you have, there'll be some files listed here. This is going to allow you to match your narration with the video as it progresses. Of course, it might be a good idea for you to write down what you're going to say, or you can just wing it depending upon your video. Now, we're going to start the video, the audio recorder first. Uh, because you're going to be able to trim it later on, and you will see that a little bit later in the video. So we're going to click on record there, and we're going to come over here and start it up. And now I'm going to add in my narration right here. Now I've clipped it out of this video, the one I did, but it allows you to, you know, create as much audio that you want to have a description here of this particular activity. Now when you're done, you can just go back, switch back to your video voice recorder, click in the center here to stop it, or there's a pause button. But I would just stop it and do this in sections rather than all one uh, recording. So when it shows you your recording, I would just right click on it and then you're going to rename that. And that's to keep my old brain sane. I'm going to give it a sequential order. I'm going to call this Peterson 1-1. Uh, okay, so that I know this is the first video or first audio recording for this video. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to go and right click on this again and say open file location to see where your voice recorder is recording these because it may be in a location that you're not aware of. I have it in it defaults to sound uh, recordings under your my documents. And if you rename them, you can leave them all right here or you can store them in another directory along with your videos. So each time you go back to the audio menu and you go to narration, wherever it goes when you click on import, it may be here, but eventually you're going to want to point to the ones uh, that we just opened up in here in this directory here. So you figure out where it's at and you navigate here uh, from this PC and I'll go to my Masters Documents and there they are. So you can retrieve them from here from now on. So once you've found your files you just click on them and they'll appear over here uh, in a list down here. And you can add multiple ones. Now once they're added there, you'll see them appear in your timeline here and where you can make adjustments. So if you had a pause in your uh, narration in the beginning before you started talking, you can make an adjustment here by sliding this here. Same at the end, by the way. And then you move it to where it matches what you want it to say uh, on the video itself. In this case, I'm trimming my uh, blank space in the front to where it works out perfectly and sync with my video. And here's how you can grab the end as well and trim it down. Okay, so there it is. All the blank space gone. That exact stuff's ready to go. Now, uh, I want to do another one. I want to do some uh, different parts of the video. So all I have to do is go back here, record it again, uh, and record another one. And go through the same exact procedures. Hit play here. Do some talking while it's recording and everything. And once you're done... Describing what's going on on screen, and you can switch back to your uh, audio editing 
that's going on and stop it on your voice recorder goes through the same thing we're going to rename it and i'm going to do this one uh peterson intro 1-2 okay so now if i go back to here you'll see that it's, it's in the uh timeline or in the uh, file directory if i go here in audio narration and add okay import audio and i click on that one and now you see it's there highlighted in blue and it's the current one and again down below you have the places where you can adjust it as well so once you have them you trim the edges again you slide it to where it touches the other one or you can even leave a bit air gap in there or however but there's your two uh, videos there you'll notice that uh, I can play it back here move it around see how well it works now I haven't muted of course for this video but you can listen to yourself talk uh, there figure out oh I want to trim that move it around and do that do this over and over again until your entire video is done now here I am a little bit later in the video and I have multiple ones installed but you besides getting them positioned here on a timeline where you want and everything one more thing you should know about is that you can go to a particular video and you can change the volume of that video if it's highlighted here you selected that particular one okay let me move these around a little bit here okay and I'll select one of them here and this one and if I go over here you'll notice that there's a play button there and all that and it shows the audio track there but look there's a volume control so you can actually adjust the loudness of that particular track you can do that throughout your video just by repeating the process so let's say you have it all done you have all your narration done everything's perfect now you want to add some background now you remember before I turned off these you can add one of these back in if you'd like but I, but you'll only be able to do one per track or per video that is okay you can adjust your volume do all those but again like I said I'm not going to use these I'm going to go ahead and go out of this and use the narration function again but to add music so in this case I go here to import audio but instead of importing my recordings I go to wherever I have my uh, one saved now I'm going to use this one or Ride of the Valkyries because it's YouTube free music but you notice I can edit and stretch it across the entire one I can shrink it down to a particular clip within that uh, music sequence I can do whatever I want it can overlay your audio which is very important now in this case I'm going to adjust the volume I'm going to take this track here and click on that and slide it down to where it's pretty low and then you notice over here I have the uh, voice ones the narrations are maximized and in a minute here I'm going to quit talking because uh, you'll be able to listen to my uh, doing the actual narration so as you'll see I'll be adjusting the bars at the bottom putting the music in changing its volume so that's barely heard underneath my narration going on above that and you can do this multiple times so you have an entire sequence uh, of songs along with your narrations so here is the Peterson Audio Museum that we visited a while back. It's a newly rebuilt complex which showcases a lot of new, a lot of cars. As you go in, one of the first areas we saw was the lowrider exhibit, showcasing lowriders from uh, the Los Angeles area. After that, we went on to the Bugatti section. So here is the Peterson Audio Museum that we visited a while back. It's a newly rebuilt complex which showcases a lot of new, a lot of cars. As you go in, one of the first areas we saw was the lowrider exhibit, showcasing lowriders from uh, the Los Angeles area. Well, there you have it: how to record narrations and add multiple narrations or multiple music tracks to your video, overlay them, and adjust the volume and then save your final video uh, again at the end of coming up here I'll be putting up the link to the other video that I have that talks about all the advanced features of how to add slides uh, how to put uh, text fade-ins and all the other things you might have seen here so enjoy the photo app 
Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.